check one. Welcome to Pre TV's Test One Two First Check One Documentary. Yeah. So, are you excited for the Gozo Carnival? Yeah, I am. It's my first time going. So, are you dressing up? Angry Bird. Yes. Where are you guys off to? Gozo Carnival 2014. What's your costume? Two blind mice. So, hi Captain, thank you very much for having us. Today, how many people are actually on board? 700 passengers. Uh, we're carrying about 400 cars every hour as well. In one day, how many people will actually go up? About 3,000 cars times three, about 9,000 passengers. So, Doug, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, I'm very excited. Why are you excited? Because it's the carnival weekend. So what have you been up to, up like preparing for this moment? So normally as soon as the carnival night ends, I kind of get a glimpse, it kind of just like comes to me, as in what we're gonna do next year. And then I let it breathe for about five months, digest the ideas a bit more, start taking notes. And about three, four months before the event, I actually start to call up people that are needed to get the project being the show, the carnival show together. How many people are actually involved in this project? Well, it varies from year to year. It can be anywhere between five people and 40 people. It depends on the show, the nature of the show, what's involved, the preparation, building up to it, etc. This year, there's quite a few. So you've got the set designers. We always go for people that are really talented, best at what they do. There's myself, of course. There's the builders. There's the costume designers, the hair, the makeup. The DJs, of course, there's the sound engineers, the light engineers. And obviously my favourite bit, as you know, is your characters. Would you like to tell us a bit about, like, you know, the different characters you've portrayed and maybe, like, how you came up with the idea or why you decided to use that character, if they meant something to you? So it all started with Nadur. Um, the carnival is about Nadur. In the Nadur carnival, it's a very masquerade thing, so people wear masks and they go around playing tricks on people, putting on funny shows, weird shows, fun shows. So I got inspired by that and the first time uh, I actually threw a show here for one of my after parties to the Nadur Carnival, I, uh, I wore a gas mask and a torch. So the same like in Nadur, when I walked into the club, I wore the gas mask, no one knew who I was. I was walking around pushing everyone and just putting the light in their face and people were like, ah, oh, who's this guy, you know? So then I eventually walked up behind the DJ stand, kept the mask on, started playing waited till the crowd got going and then when, when it actually kicked off then I took the mask off and that was kind of my first show. So I've done others, Darth Vader to joke at us for movies and as time went by I got more inspired to do my own. This year I'm a circus time traveling steampunk character. I've taken all the areas of interest that, that I'm into, different things I like and brought them into one character. Extremely entertaining, high energy, um, steampunk look. I'm basically like a mad scientist even, on a mission to save the crowds. The events leading up to it, so you started off, what, what year would that have been roughly? I'd say it was around 2006. So after 2006, you continued doing these events, which is the year where you just went like, wow, this party, this carnival party at Crew Club, this is the keeper, this is what I want to do year after year. First one, really. First one. Yeah, I was hooked. I'm, I'm into the whole carnival idea, I'm into themed events in general. So for me, carnival is the peak of, of what I'm into, really. So, yeah. Once you get to the carnival, everybody just going crazy, dressing up, having the time of their lives, man. Are you two a couple? Yes, um, he's <laughs> me in the ass. Tomorrow I will <laughs> all day. Here's my number, right? Keep it safe, and uh, I'll call you later. Thank you, dear. What are the craziest things you've seen so far? Nadur is the craziest thing. So yeah, here we are. And just going through inquiries and everything. I had an amazing light in Nadur last night, going around uh, interviewing people and seeing all the crazy costumes and people uh, enjoying it. They kind of really. The big day has arrived. It's been long in the waiting. I'm a little calmer than I expected, mainly because we're really, really well prepared. So everything's in place. Very, very excited. <laughs> I was going to start
start with the track I was working on, uh, which is a remix of Voodoo People by The Prodigy. So I went with the kind of theme of the music video. Well, it's just about having fun, eh, really? Going out with a group of friends to Gozo, having a long weekend, eh? Taking the piss and having a good time. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about how you and Duncan come up with the special effects and the makeup and where, you know, where it all stems from? Well, I usually have a meeting with Duncan about between two months and one month before the actual event, so I have enough time to prepare, and he comes up with the whole concept and idea. He tells me what he would like to be done, and then from there I do some research, start making designs, then we meet again, go back through everything, see if we both agree on everything, and then I start actually making anything that we need on the day that I can do beforehand. Any stencils, materials, all the materials from abroad sometimes, and get everything organized. In terms of this year, um, what was the makeup design that you did? It was steampunk, and Duncan wanted to have something very theatrical and clubby, uh, together with UV makeup, and he designed this awesome set with uh, Julian Calabreton. back in the studio where it all began. It was an amazing journey to say the least. What a feeling to be able to work with so many talented people who played such an amazing audience on such a fantastic weekend, just incredible. Um, the show this year was, I'd say, the most deeply artistic show I've done so far. It gave me the opportunity to explore the depth of musical theatre. I actually opened uh, with a song, an intro from a musical that I'm writing. It was so much fun, it took a lot of nerve to do that in the middle of a party, you know, to actually stop the music, get on the set, I was messing around with my radio and to, to actually break into song in front of so many people where, you know, they're not there for a musical, they're there for a carnival party, so it took a lot of nerve to do that. And the rush that came with pulling that off was exceptional. Followed by me on basically a whole um, rack mount all around the scaffolding around the DJ stand. I was on rock climbing ropes, I was swinging all over the place, I was DJing upside down. It was mad, it was mad, you know. Uh, some people were shocked, some didn't know what to think of it, some loved it, and that's what entertainment's about, you know. It's like, yeah, wow, amazing. Thank you all for being there. Super, thank you. <laughs> Partying this weekend? Of course I'll put Mark again. Mr. Dun F. How are you feeling? Alright, hey. Alright, hey. Blah 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 blah. So what's your favorite color? Clearly green mine is too. And what's your favorite stance? I also very much enjoy that stance. <laughs> of course everybody likes carnival. I love pandas. Did you know you're a dying species and there's only a few left of you? Um it's a pleasure. Where's the union representative? It's not here yet, Al. Oh. ABZ. Could you all just say, carnival for us, for a documentary? That thing like, hands up. I feel very cool and horny. Yes. And did you do your homework? Uh, no. Which parties are you going to go look inside? Um, private one at home, hopefully. The private one at home? Yes, yes. The party in your pants? The party in my pants, hopefully, yeah, of pants. course. Are you going to any parties tomorrow? Yes. Who's Duncan party? F. Duncan F. Yes, and I think you. Is that him there? I think chef for me, I'm in. Uh-huh. Yes. Please, my mouth. Duncan F. <laughs> 